So one of our canine units uh, was sitting on an unoccupied stolen vehicle, which is now occupied, but we're en route to conduct a high-risk traffic stop. Driver, listen to my commands, all right? Listen to my commands, follow them, and you won't get hurt, okay? So keep your hands up. Use your right hand, remove the key from the ignition. It's already out. It's already out, okay. Don't grab anything, keep your hands up. Step out of the vehicle. Get your hand up. Face away from me. Face away from me. Keep your hands up. Walk backwards slowly. They're going to walk backwards to the sound of my voice. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. Uh, it looks like keys are probably right there. Um, so what you'll see commonly is they'll get, um, you know, if it's a Honda, they'll get a Honda key and you can take the edges of it here. Most of the, the vehicles in the early 90s and 2000s, they used somewhat of the same ignition setup. So if you take one of their keys and shave it down, um, you, you're able to get through the doors and the, and the ignition and have it stolen in, in the amount of time it takes you and me to get your car started up, so. A meth pipe, probably crystal meth. Just all these credit cards that have different people's names on them, different IDs, shape keys. How's it going? My dad's How's it going? He's the owner. Perfect. Yeah, so this is the part where we're going to go and we'll have the uh, registered owner take a look at the driver of the vehicle, um, see whether or not he can identify who that driver was and if he gave him permission to drive the vehicle. Is there any reason why he should be driving your vehicle? The driver was identified as um, not having permission to have the vehicle. The driver will be taken uh, to county jail for um, vehicle theft and charge and the vehicle was released to a very happy owner who was uh, very happy to get his car back and drive it back home.